Okay, nandito pa rin tayo sa conics at ang ating topic ay uh, ellipse. Ellipse with vertex at 0, 0. Ellipse with vertex at HK and uh, application of conics. Okay, tingnan natin ang definition ng ellipse. So, the ellipse is the set of all points on the plane for which the sum of distances from two fixed points called poci is a positive constant. So, ito yung two fixed points. So, yung poci natin. Then, the sum of uh, the distances from two fixed points is a positive constant. Okay. Ano ba yung sinasabi sa definition natin? The ellipse is the set of all points on the plane for which the sum of distances from two fixed points is a positive constant. So, ito yung ating foci. So, these two points are foci. So, ang sabi dito, yun daw sum ng distances from two fixed point ng kahit anong points dito sa ellipse. Limbawa, itong point D, pag pinag-add mo daw yung sum ng uh, AD plus BD, so, itong dalawang segments na to ay equal sa constant. So, tingnan nyo to. So, AD equals 3.9 at yung DB is 5.97. So, the sum is 10. Halimbawa, ilalagay ko tong point D na to sa ibang lugar. So, ito. Yan, nandito na. So, look at the sum. 10 din. At kahit na dito ko siya ilagay, so 10 din yung sum. Hindi na babago. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng the sum of distances from two fixed point foci is a positive constant. So, kahit saan ko dyan ilagay, so it is a path of points. Or the sum of distances from two fixed point of any points on the ellipse is constant. So, yun yung ibig sabihin nun. And then, look at this. So, pag nilagay ko tong point na to dito, tingnan nyo ha, itong BD plus AB equals what? So, di ba? Pag nilagay ko itong point na to dito, itong BD ay ito, plus ito, ay equal sa buo nito. Okay? So, nakita nyo yun? Yun. So, para maliwanag, pag didiscuss natin mamaya, yung relationship ng major axis, minor axis, at yung focal distance. Okay? Consider natin ang properties of an ellipse. So, we have semi-axis, center, vertices, major axis, co-vertices, minor axis, latus rectum, cosi, and focal distance. So, uh, pag sinabi natin semi-axis, ito yung kalahati ng uh, haba ng axis. So, mamaya, uh, titingnan natin yan sa major axis and minor axis. So, unayin natin yung center. So, midpoint of the segment joining the posi. So, let us look at uh, our ellipse. So, meron tayong uh, focus 1 and focus 2. So, we have uh, posi. So, the midpoint, yung kalahati nito, yan ang center. Vertices and points of the major axis. The points on an ellipse which lie on the line containing the posi. Kung nandito si posi natin, yung dalawang uh, focus, so, 
yung segment containing the foci, yun ang major axis. Siyempre, yung gitna din ng major axis ay center. And then, yung the line segment joining the vertices, longer uh, axis contain foci, yun yung major axis. So, ito ang ating major axis. Ito ang ating minor axis. The line segment containing the covertices. So, pag ito yung major axis, yung endpoints ng major axis are the vertices. Ito yung minor axis. Ang endpoints ng minor axis ay covertices. So, and major axis is longer than the minor axis. The latus rectum, the line segment passing through the focus and perpendicular to the major axis. So, ito yung ating major axis. Ito yung ating focus. So, drawing natin. So, perpendicular to the major axis. So, itong line na to, passing through the focus, perpendicular dito sa major axis. So, ito rin isa. So, ito yung ating dalawang latus rectum or the latera recta. Again, ang focal distance, just like our, our parabola from the vertex to focus, to naman from the center to the focus, this is our focal distance. Ang major axis, kung ito from the center to the focus is A, Ito din ay A. So, ito. So, the distance of the major axis is 2A. Kung ito ay B, from center to the minor axis, uh, minor uh, to the covertex, is B. So, B din ito. So, yung haba ng ating minor axis is 2B. Okay? Major axis is 2A, minor axis is 2B. Then, let us derive the formula. So, from the definition, or sa definition natin, yung distance nito, yung segment na to, this is our point P on ellipse. So, yung distance daw na to, plus yung distance nitong segment na ito, pag pinag-add, ang sum niya ay 2A. And then, using the distance formula, so, then, we derive the equation of an ellipse as x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Where b, this is b, b equals a squared minus c squared. Or, pwede rin nating sabihin as uh, C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So, makikita nyo si A squared ay under the squared variable X. A is greater than B. So, ibig sabihin ito ay greater than B. C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Tandaan nyo ito laging formula na yan. Then, the ellipse is uh, horizontal. So, let us compare the uh, horizontal and vertical uh, ellipse. A squared is greater than B squared. So, pag yung A squared is on the squared variable X, pahiga yung ellipse natin. Dito sa kabila, yung A squared natin, kasi ito yung mas malaki, at under siya sa squared variable Y, yung ating ellipse ay apatayo. So, tatandaan lang lagi, titingnan, alin yung mas malaki? Nasa x squared ba? O nandun ba sa y squared? Pag nasa x squared, pahiga. Pag nasa y squared, patayo. Yung dalawa na yun, ang center nun ay 0, 0. Ulitin natin, the length of major axis is 2A and the length of minor axis is 2B. Then, the distance between center and either focus is C. 
So, makikita natin yung focal distance. Makukompute natin yan using formula C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Where A is greater than B. And they are both greater than 0. So, the length of Plato's rectum can be determined by the formula 2B squared over A. Eccentricity is uh, C over A and directrix is A over E. So, sa ating uh, reference, uh, hanggang dito lang tayo sa latus rectum or hanggang dito lang sa ABC. So, but uh, for, para ma-drawing natin na maganda yung ating ellipse, kailangan natin si latus rectum or the length of latus rectum. And, bigyan natin ng bonus kasi sa ibang libro mayroong eccentricity and a directrix. So, discuss din natin yan pag may time tayo. Salamat at sana natutunan nyo ang mga properties ng ellipse. Thank you!